Namaste and welcome to my Wednesday wellness. I wasn't with you last week because I had a pretty horrendous accident. I tipped a, a pot of tea all over myself and I'm a big fan of a good cup of tea but it's uh, I would not recommend this. It was extremely sore and so today I'm going to interrupt our detox season just to tell you how to treat burns with aromatherapy because I'd love for you to know that in case something similar happens to you which I hope it never does. Um, so the magic to be used in a burn is lavender. In fact, the way aromatherapy was kind of reintroduced to the world, actually this is a bit of a, a story, nobody really knows if it's true or not, but it's a great story. A perfumer was working with uh, creating perfumes and he burnt himself on his Bunsen burner, Gat Foss, this French guy, and um, he burnt himself quite badly and then he plunged his arm, the story goes, into a vat of liquid nearby and it was a vat of lavender and when he took it out it healed miraculously very quickly without scarring, without any infection. So that's a, you know, that's a story but it, it, it gives you the heads up that lavender is absolutely magic for burns. So that is what I use. So how you would treat burns is first thing is always to, to use cold water cold water immediately and for as long as you can really stand it until you get bored certainly go through numb and beyond um, and if it's kids you know just make sure they they, they, they stay under the cold water um, and then immediately neat lavender so I'm not generally a fan of using neat oils but in cases like this neat lavender about two or three drops or if it's a larger area two or three drops per square inch and then you can make compress. So compress is just basically a cloth, but it should be a clean, you know, really clean, preferably sterilized. If there's any broken skin, it should really be sterilized. Cloth or handkerchief or something like that. That's um, been submerged in water again with lavender and then put that directly on the burn. Lavender is absolutely magic. There's four herbs that are great for, for burns. Um, lavender is number one, chamomile romaine and chamomile germaine, the two chamomiles, and yarrow. And uh, so yarrow you might you may not have, but the, the similarity between yarrow and the blue chamomile is the blueness in them. They have this beautiful chemical called camazuline, which is calming, cooling, soothing. So there's a lot of that in Yoganda Relax. So if you have, don't apply this directly to a burn, no. But as part of the healing process afterwards, yes. For the cooling, for the healing, for the regeneration, and for the mind, because shock is, plays a big part in, in a severe burn. When would you go to hospital? Um, if, it, the, if it starts blistering, go to hospital. If the burn is larger than one hand, one, one palm of your hand, go to hospital. Or if just if you're worried, you know it's worth going because often they can be more severe than they appear, particularly electrical burns can be more severe because a lot of it can be internal and you need to get it assessed to see if it's first degree, second degree, third degree burns. Um, mine was second degree, which was pretty bad and, and the degrees is to do with the depth rather than the area. So get yourself to hospital if you're, you know, to A&E if you're concerned um, or if it's very large. Um, so that is really how you would treat you treat it with so with uh, aromatherapy. Now I do recommend also using conventional medicine because if the pain is severe, then for sure use conventional medicine. And um, so I was prescribed morphine, which I was you know happy. I, I would recommend with reservation because there's nothing like morphine for pain relief for intense and kind of needless pain relief like a burn. Um, so I do recommend it, but just, you know, be cognizant of the fact that there's a huge problem with people being addicted to opiates and they are very addictive, you know, so you can, you can feel them. They certainly, um, they certainly kill the pain, which is magic at that moment when the pain is needless and it's just there. Um, but just be really careful with them because the prescription I got was take three a day for five days. And, you know, I, I took it on the first day and my, my husband came in and was like, how are you? I said, brilliant. And then only after this, I was going, hmm, I shouldn't really be brilliant, should I? You know, you want to get back to kind of an even keel, not brilliant. So I didn't take any more and I was glad I didn't. But I do recommend them for those intense moments and also for be aware of when you're um, being brought to get the dressing changed because that is the ultimate, ultimate euphemism. Getting your dressing changed sounds so harmless and easy and gentle. Horrendous. You know, they're pulling the gauze off pretty blistered and really angry and sore skin. So if you are prescribed any morphine, I would not take them 
you know, as they recommend, just save them for those moments of intense pain and be aware of their addictive nature and also for the, the come down the next day, for which I use this guy, the, the uh, uplifting oil, which I really, really recommended and needed the next day, the day after I had to take the morphine. Um, but for the days you're getting your bandages changed, I do recommend, you know, really, really the strongest pain relief that you have been offered because it's completely horrendous. You feel a bit like an extra in a World War II movie where, you know, they're putting alcohol on you and you're flailing around going, this is so sore. And um, so, you know, do use conventional medicine by all means if it's offered to you because there's nobody should have to suffer that intense pain when it's there for, for really no reason. It's just an accident. And also, um, have your aromatherapy oils with you have lavender in the house have a bottle of a 10 ml or 30 ml of lavender oil have it in the house because it's fantastic for burns it's fantastic for cellular regeneration for healing without scarring and then um, so have your essential oils have your gander relax if you don't have because it's got the camazuline and it's got the lavender and the blue chamomile in there but only use after not on a direct burn or broken skin um, and also have you know, the uplifting oils for if you are managing, you've got to manage your pain relief as well as your pain. So, um, so have that for, for to, you know, to give yourself a lift. So that's, that's it. And um, so, yeah, really hope it never happened to you. It's a really horrendous thing to happen. Be careful with pots of tea in the kitchen. They can be lethal. And um, thank you so much for being here. Next week, we'll get back on to detox. But I just wanted to splice this with... Yeah, my own personal experience of a badass burn and how to treat it with aromatherapy. So, namaste.